Government leaders could move forward on a plan tonight to address safety in schools. It's been the hot topic of debate since leaders announced their intentions. We know the safety of students means a lot, not just to parents, but of course people in our community as well. So News 5's Remy Murray has been covering the issue for us, and this morning she's following through with new details about the proposal while the superintendent says they're making changes. The plan to allow select staff members to carry a weapon at Parma City School District is expected to be voted on at the Parma School Board meeting tonight. I first told you about this proposal when the district announced a plan in July. This week, Superintendent Charles Smilek told me the language caused a lot of confusion for parents and the community because he says the district gave very few details about who would be allowed to be armed. We thought that, you know, if we kept this a mystery and, you know, that would be a deterrent in itself. And we learned very quickly that we were sacrificing district transparency. It's a concern parents have expressed to me. In August, I spoke with Nadine Jamison and she told me she needed to know more specific details about the plan. I reached back out to her and now that the district has clarified, Jamison says she feels a sense of relief. I'm definitely someone that believes that if you're going to arm someone in a building with children, that that should really be a police officer's role. I'm just much more comfortable with that. Um, so I was happy to see that information and it be completely detailed and outlined. Other parents like Angela Reve have supported the district's decision from the very beginning. As we've seen with other um, events that have occurred across the nation, response time is critical. Smile says the district will not specifically reveal who will carry a weapon, only telling News 5 these people will be from their security team. They've gone through the, the class that's identified by the state of Ohio, um, so they've completed that, but they will also uh, complete ongoing training. So we actually wrote into the policy that every quarter, so four times per school year, they're going to go through ongoing training. In Parma, Remy Murray, News 5.